Hey, uh, what's up, guys? So look, uh, this morning I, uh, I got some test results back for coronavirus and it came back positive. Yeah, and it sucks. Um, listen, I'm doing okay. Uh, Sabrina hasn't been tested and she's doing okay. Um, I wasn't, I didn't have any symptoms. Um, I got tested because I realized I was um, exposed to someone who had also uh, tested positive. I found out last Friday that they were tested positive. I quarantined myself and got a test immediately uh, and got the results back today. Uh, look, this is serious, you know? Now's the time to really think about social distancing, washing your hands. Uh, beyond that, there are people out there who aren't showing symptoms and that can easily spread it, okay? So now's a real time to be really vigilant about washing your hands and keeping your distance, okay? Um, we've told our families, um, they're very supportive. We've told our colleagues um, and, you know, transparency is probably the best thing for this right now. If you're feeling ill or you feel like you should be tested or you've been exposed and do something about it, all right? It's really important. Look, we live in a divided world right now. We can all feel it. It's been bullshit. But now's the time for solidarity. Now's the time for thinking about each other. There are so many people whose lives have been affected, from those who have lost people that they love to people that don't even have it and have lost their livelihoods. This is real, all right? Um, I just wanted to share my news with you guys, and I will keep you updated as how I'm doing. Um, but so far, we're feeling okay. All right, man. Stay positive and don't freak out. Okay. And I want you to hear something else, right? Because I think he made a really good point with not showing symptoms. Listen. So most people have a fear of acquiring the virus. I think a good way of doing it is to imagine that you do have the virus, yeah? And change your behavior so that you're not transmitting it. Don't think about changing your behavior so you won't get it. Think about changing your behavior so you don't give it to somebody else. Exactly. So that's what this is all about now at this point. Flattening the curve. Making sure that we do the things that we need to do to make sure that not only are we not going out there and getting it, but that we just automatically assume, okay, well, what if I have it? What would I do differently so that I don't spread this? Because some people are asymptomatic, you can be going around being as careful as you can be as to not get it. But if you don't have symptoms, you can still spread it. From what it is that I'm hearing, children are carriers for the coronavirus. And because their immune system is so strong, they don't have the symptoms, but they can still be contagious and pass it along. So closing the schools was a really great thing. Social distancing is needed now more than ever. And... You know what, my heart goes out to everyone, like he said, who are losing their livelihoods because of this. I work online, so I'm able to still continue to create content for you all. And even me with my spirit, my spirit is a little low right now. I may do a live video for us to come together and talk about how it is that we're doing. But right now is the time for us to come together. In New York, we're banding together. In New York, we're staying in, we're staying home. So continue to do that. Social distance, stay away. Wash your hands for at least 20 seconds. Wash those thumbs and those fingertips. And they say that 80% of the population may get the coronavirus. Based on how your immune system is, will de determine whether or not you actually have symptoms, whether or not you go down for the count, but you can still be contagious. So let's be considerate of other people who have compromised immunities, asthma, and other issues going on where we don't want to be a walking infectabot, where we walk around infecting the people. Our beloved Idris Elba has contracted corona. So this debunks the myth that black people cannot get it. So please be extra vigilant out there because we know of other NBA players who have gotten the coronavirus. And now here's Idris Elba coming out and saying that he has it. So please be vigilant. Take care of yourself. Tanya TKO and I'm out. Go out there and love one another. But most importantly, what? 
That's right, love yourself. And part of loving yourself is taking care of yourself and other people. So self-quarantine, remember, there is no cure and there is no vaccine. So the only thing you can do is just wait it out. This is, we're in for the long haul now. So hunker down, we don't know what is going to happen next. But what we can do is delay the spread and delay the catching. So leave your comments below, peace. Thank you for watching. Make sure you thumbs up the video. Make sure that you subscribe and hit the bell notifications to be notified of new videos. Leave a comment below and come over to tanyatko.com to subscribe to my personal mailing list, send me a message, or find out more about matchmaking. I'll see you on the other side. Peace.